Coming up on 645 on this Saturday morning, which is starting out with just a few wispy cirrus clouds around and really kind of crisp temperatures. 28 degrees right now at Underwater Connection at I-25 and Garden of the Gods. And the sun is just about to crest the eastern horizon from this view. And you can see some of the clouds floating around that I mentioned, though there's certainly not that many of them. And we expect overall to have a good bit of sunshine today. Sun's already shining brightly into our camera lens, as seen from the Pueblo Chieftain Studio, where we're at 30 on the nose. The wind right now is calm, and we're not expecting a lot of wind today, which is always helpful this time of year. So we really think we're in for a nice afternoon. Skycast does not show any real organized cloud cover across the area, so just some thin, wispy cirrus clouds, maybe a few light cumulus clouds through the afternoon. High temperatures in the 60s in most of eastern Colorado, probably 40s and 50s for the mountains and mountain valleys. And as I mentioned, the wind shouldn't be too strong, maybe at most 10, 15 miles an hour in spots. Along the Arkansas River, not a lot of variety with respect to temperature. Low to mid-60s should do it. And we'll go for upper 50s to lower 60s on the higher terrain to the south and west of town. Upper 50s and lower 60s should do it through most of Colorado Springs, with mainly 50s in Teller County. Cripple Creek might remain in the 40s, and we'll be around freezing up on top of Pikes Peak. Then as we head into tonight, we'll be tracking a little bit of wind. It probably won't kick up until after midnight, and it won't be real strong, but enough of a breeze that maybe as you wake up tomorrow morning, the temperatures will already be on the rise. And I do think we'll start out a little bit warmer tomorrow morning than we've been this morning and probably make your way up into the mid-60s. So real nice weekend, all things considered. Even warmer as we head into next week with upper 60s on Monday and then 70s returning on Tuesday and Wednesday both of which are probably going to be breezy days. Finally, it appears we'll get some significantly colder air into the area by the end of next week. So currently that would appear to happen on Thursday and Friday. Good bit of wind with that storm. But right now it looks like that storm will go a bit too far to our north to bring us more than wind. If something changes, we could be talking about at least a brief snowfall. But right now it doesn't look that way. And it'll get chilly as that cooler air settles in at night too with lows when you wake up on Friday morning, probably in the mid-20s. We might actually drop off into the teens then Friday night into Saturday morning. Probably look for temperatures to rise into the 70s the first half of next week. In fact, we might get darn close to 80 by about Wednesday. And that's not unusual to see that spike in temperature prior to some colder air arriving this time of year. And so that looks to happen obviously Thursday into Friday. So by the end of the week, we may only be in the 40s. And then it'll get cool at night as well with lows falling back into the 20s. Uh, but again, this looks like more wind and cold than anything else. Canyon City, your temperatures will climb from the 60s into the 70s as we head into next week, probably mid-70s on Tuesday and Wednesday. And passing clouds here and there, the wind will certainly start to pick up as those temperatures warm up. Nice overnight lows, too, in the 40s through the middle of next week. But as mentioned, by the time we hit the end of the week, it should be noticeably cooler. And Thursday looks not bad at 61, but that'll be kind of a blustery, raw day as the temperatures are coming down in the afternoon. So I don't necessarily think Thursday is going to be all that great of a day to be outside the way it looks now. Teller County, 50s the next few days, might jump up briefly into the 60s. Couldn't roll out maybe Thursday late in the evening or Thursday night. It's a couple of flurries. It's about as far as I'm willing to go with that right now. Uh, I know there are people who are kind of looking forward to some snow. And while this is an indication that, believe it or not, we're deep into November, we're finally <laughs> going to get cold. I don't think this is the one that's going to kick off the snow just yet, at least not in any sort of widespread capacity. I just, I'm so excited to get to those resorts and start skiing, but, you know, it's going to take a little while, huh? Yeah, they need a little help. They, they might get a little bit of snow later on this week, but again, mm -hmm. the storm just doesn't look like it's going to come together like we would need it to to give yeah. us any widespread snow. Okay, so we'll have to, we'll have to wait a few weeks, huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thanks, Marty. You're welcome.